Good morning everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing an updated gang turf area for 5M. It adds a bunch of props that um, just make it seem more realistic in the world, um, gets rid of some of the useless gates and fences in those areas. So hopefully this does help you make it um, a nicer area for roleplay inside of your 5M server. I did want to mention a few things before we start. Thank you to all of those who have checked out our uh, starting of YouTube Shorts. Our goal with YouTube Shorts is we will release one every day we don't upload a main uh, video, um, which is going to be probably every other day. So every day you're going to have some sort of content on the channel, rather it be a short or a full uh, tutorial or gameplay video, something like that. And if you haven't already, please go check out yesterday or two days ago's video of Hypixel Bed Wars. It's a 1v1. I gave away $100 worth of Hypixel ranks. It's, it's something we took a while to do on and the video is not doing so good. So go check that out. Um, anyway, let's get straight into this one either way. Um, so this, if we go ahead and take a look at the photos, what what you can see is the before and after for all of the locations um, so you can see they've added like couches and tents and tables all that stuff around um, they remove some of the fences so it just makes it more realistic um, they've just added a bunch of cool stuff to the game so you can actually go ahead and take a look and play around with this um, in your roleplay situation so in order to download and install this just like any other resource you're gonna go to the resource page linked in the top of the description go ahead and click the 1.0 download it's going to go ahead and take a moment because sometimes their download servers are slow and then it's gonna start downloading while this downloads we're going to go to our server data resources folder. If you're on Zap Hosting, this may be FTP for you. Um, if you are on TX Admin, it would be your TX data folder. Or if you are on a local or a VPS, kind of like how I'm doing here, I'm going to go to my server data resources folder where all my other resources are. So now I'm going to wait for this to go ahead and download and then let's install it. All right, so we have gone ahead and downloaded the resource. Now, if we open this up in WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up these resources, you can see in here you got your stream folder, your resource.alula file, your resource.cfg um, file, all the things you're going to need for this. All you have to do with this is you're going to drag in the overall folder into your resources folder. So it will say Gang Turf Upgrades. That's all you have to worry about. I'm going to click Rename, but I'm just going to copy or Control C this folder name so I don't have to remember it by hand. Go to my server.cfg cfg file edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus and i'm going to add ensure or start doesn't really matter what you put here um and then it's going to be gang turf upgrades as the folder name save this file now if i go ahead and start the server we're just going to make sure in console it starts up and says started resource the folder name this is how you can tell if it started correctly make sure if you are on zap hosting and you are using ftp you go to their ftp page and click um the set ftp permissions um, because that is the way it works. So there we go. Started resource, gangs, turf, upgrades. We know we are good. Let's hop in game and try it out. All right, so we are in game here, and you can see if we walk around, there is no more fences blocking the driveways, there's couches, there's beware of dog signs, there's everything that um, the resource wanted to add in here. So hopefully this just makes it a little bit easier for role play, it cleans up the areas a little bit. Um, it makes so many changes around the map, so make sure to take a look at all the pictures um, to see all of them in detail. Hopefully this helps uh, make your 5M server a little bit easier for role play and stuff. Um, if you have questions, please leave them on the resource page for the author. And if you have a suggestion for a resource, put the link down in the comments below. Um, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.